Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I should like to introduce you to the Arcade Activator with its Activate button. You might have seen earlier videos on this. It's basically a unit that you plug into the mains. And in fact, why don't I do that just now? And what the purpose of this unit is, is to sequence you might hear a click as it sequences these power switches. So you'll see here channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are relay operated outlets. And on the bottom, you have eight individual fuses. So each outlet has its own individual fuse. So it's nice and safe. Although, do not try to change the fuse while the unit is plugged into the mains because that's never recommended. On the top, you have a master on off. So hitting that, will kill power instantly to all the ports. But if you leave it on and then let the microcontroller inside do the work, you'll turn it on and it will slowly turn on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in that order. And that will allow your arcade machines time to degauss. To use your arcade machines, you'll have to remove their plugs and replace them Ooh, with these. These are the I believe IEC plugs or kettle leads and you can get them in varying qualities. You can see there's two two different styles here. What, the one on the left is a little bit better quality, one on the right is less so, but to be honest they're all pretty good. This is, they're all rated 10 amps. They basically plug in on the side just like that. Quite firm though. And you can see from the construction, you have to just sort of rewire your device to use them in. And you've got this middle earth pin and you've got the live and neutral. In fact, you want to do, you want to do it on this side. So they're actually screw terminals themselves. In fact, let me just zoom in on one so you can see it. There you go. So you wrap your wire around there in the loop, put it around the screw, crank that on wired. So you do that for your three pins and then you'll have them all ready to go into your device. So I'm just going to do a little sort of tear down of the arcade activator now it's finished. You might have seen it during the build process so you'll have a fair idea but I kind of jumped a few steps. I've taken photos I went along but I didn't video every stage so I'm going to do the tear, tear down right now. IP54 box. Remember, it's not IP54 anymore because we've cut a lot of holes in the side, although it should be pretty dust proof. This unit actually has been running now for several months, so I, uh, I wanted to sort of make sure the design would sit there and be able to operate as intended for long periods of time, and it has. And look at it in there, and it's still there, happy as Larry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to describe the subsystems. You'll have to um, appreciate that I've covered certain areas with this varnished uh, paper, non-conductive paper. It looks a bit uh, discoloured. That's because I sort of re retrieved it out of... Uh, in fact, I retrieved it out of this, which is a server sort of uh, enclosure for power switches. And they've been glued basically over the major components, but I'll show you what the major components are through the means. So here you have the booby board microcontroller. The booby board microcontroller of course is programmed with a custom firmware that I will make available actually for anybody who's got a booby board or wants a booby board uh, can purchase off me. This is a relay board like this and this is an opto isolated relay board. In fact this one's slightly better than this one in that it's got a better connector although we can't see it. And uh, this is an eight relay module which switches at five volts. So it's a five volt logic and it provides you with normally open and normally closed contacts. So you could wire these the other way around if you are that way inclined for your particular project. So moving on, we've actually, before I move on rather, we also have here the power supply for the buoy board. So that's a wall wart that I've smashed open and basically mounted permanently. So in coming to the box we have the live mains. The live mains goes to this switch here. So that's the master on off switch. 
Remember, in the UK, so the mains is actually fused as well at the plug. Um, so it's up to you to decide if you want a master fuse here for this unit. I haven't bothered. We've got them in the plug, as I said. So the power goes to this switch. When the switch is on, it actually applies power to this whole assembly here. So the logic of the unit is activated, but also it applies power. You'll see here a brown wire that's running along here to the fuses. So the fuses become live as well. And then uh, that's the fuse feed then off to the here. The yellow wires actually are the mains coming back. So when the relay is activated, it will have the yellow wires will become hot and they will come to the IEC connectors. The IEC connectors have live and a, the actual uh, live each from the relays, a uh, common earth between them. You can see the screen bonding is going there between them and a common neutral. So neutrals are bussed together, earths are all bussed together and they all loop straight across. So that means the earth pin is activated. So that's good. You're pretty safe. You can see I've bussed the fuses as well using window splices. I'll have a video on that. You can see how I've done that. And that's it really, quite a simple build. You've got a nice lid here with the four securing screws. It does fold over rather nicely. Nothing shorts out, there's nothing too short out at this point. The only exposed terminals, the, you know, the case has exposed things just all on the hot side. All of the uh, logic side stuff is covered over. I've actually soldered everything where I, in fact, everywhere is soldered in here. So they're all pretty uh, good, shouldn't come off. And that's that really. So hopefully I'm going to be uh, giving this to its rightful owner soon and they're going to be very happy no doubt with it and uh, this type of construction allows you to you know in the future to make all sorts of modifications so you'll be able to use different ways to activate so here it's just an activation switch but it will also work from Wi-Fi module and key fob wireless key fob and that's that so if you've got any questions please ask me down below or catch me on Twitter at back office show you'll see the address at the end of this video um, uh, if you want to sort of talk about the commercials of this, you want one of these or you want to make one or you want to buy a booby board or you want to, you know, just anything like that, just feel free to contact me and let's let's discuss. Let's get the ball rolling. I want to make this a project. I want people to use them. That's my main aim and I enjoy them, hopefully. Also, if you've got another application where you can actually change the timing of this or the sequencing, have a think. Remember, you can use these for doing all sorts of things that require logic from a microcontroller. And if you really want to, you could have a USB port on here. So you could actually plug this into a PC or a Raspberry Pi to give you some additional logic like a home control system. Please like and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching.